Barney Hopi Junior Senior High School students and staff. It is Wednesday and I appreciate your time for 10 to 15 minutes to share an information on the 2017 Hopi Junior Senior High School Youth Summit. So what what is this? What when is this? This is happening one week from now, eight days from now. And on Thursday, April 27, 2017, Youth Summit slash conference. If any of you have ever been to a youth conference or a youth summit or heard of a professional conference, it's where any person goes to enhance their knowledge of who they are. And believe it or not, you are a young professional student. And we're trying to create this little experience for you so that you can have an opportunity to enhance yourself as a student. So what does a conference look like? Well, a conference is a day where you, on Thursday, get on the bus, come to school, see a big sign called registration, come to these desks in the commons area, in the cafeteria commons. You'll be able to see registration set up. You're gonna sign in. You're gonna get a nice packet with a nice pen and a portfolio and of your schedule and your itinerary. From then, you'll be able to attend your day. You'll have a broken down schedule for yourself and it's meant to enhance you as a young individual. So that's basically the, the breakdown of the day. So a youth conference happening when? Thursday, uh, April 27th, where Hopi Junior Senior High School will be utilizing the auditorium in the morning. For the first period, you'll attend all sessions located throughout the school. We'll have maps and people will show you where to go on that day. And everyone will, will be clear on, on which presenter is doing what. So the coolest thing about a conference is the presentations. Remember, it's to enhance you as an individual. But imagine you don't go to all your classes on that day. You have a schedule that you're gonna, go, you're gonna choose based on your interests and that's gonna be your schedule for today. So what you're doing today is gonna to help me uh, know where you want to go by filling out that paper in front of you. Teachers, in front of you, you have this paper. Please pass it out to each one of your students. And students, when you are finished, you'll have this filled out, all rank ordered from one to 10. Your name one up here, your grade right here, and you'll be selecting in each box a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, based on what you are most interested in. And so to share with you a little bit about what each topic is, have it broken down. So personal social, relationships. What should I do when? Presenter, Pascualita Kuchwaitua. Signs of healthy, unhealthy relationships. Pissed off, what should I do? Presenter, Jeff Rice. How do I manage my anger? Getting high, I bet I know more than you. Presenter, Kathy Gardner. The argument of using marijuana. Drinking, what's the worst that could happen? Presenter, Sean Namoki and Brian Humitiwa. How our bodies, life, and community are affected by alcohol in their individual stories. My friend is suicidal, how do I help? Presenter, Anita Karu, a real life story of suicide and survival. I want to get in better shape, but I keep falling short. Presenter, Ryan Carl and Valerie Nevaestua. How to create a healthy lifestyle that gives me more energy and I feel good and look good and, uh, and, and, and life happens in good ways for me. Talking beep on Facebook. What's the big deal? Presenter Lexi James. Effective communication on social media. Sex and my body. All questions answered for females. Presenter Marissa Adams. Addressing topics you might not be comfortable asking. Are you a man? Presenter Gary Leslie, Dwayne Koyawina. How masculinity impacts you as a young developing male. Post-secondary slash career. How to get money for college. Presenter Cecilia Shortman and Deshaun Manunya. 
FAFSA and scholarships and other opportunities available to you as a student. Help! I don't know what I want to do after high school. Presenters Sienna Sakiva, Carrie Sakiva, Tracy Honani, Eric Bonantua. Panel of community members sharing their personal journeys. What can the military do for me? Presenter Major Cox, Sergeant DeLeon, and a couple, a couple recruiters, I believe. Comparing different military branches and the benefits that each offers. I want to go into business, now what? Presenter Emmett Navakaka, local artist, shares and explains how he's been able to create a successful small business. Summer is here, what else can I do? Presenter Lisa Lomavaya. Local opportunities to help you get involved over the summer that will hopefully enrich you. I have a dream of becoming a, what now? Creating, pursuing, and evaluating goals that mean much to you. I want to get a job. Why do I need a resume? What do I say in my first interview? Presenter Lisa Pawini. What career is best for me? Presenter Danielle Roman. Take a test to see what careers reflect your interests. Now in the last area, cultural slash identity. Why should I learn my language? Presenter Clark Tinakumba and Stuart Goyayantua. What is a Hopi? Presenter Stanford Lomakima. Bahana and Hopi Tewa. How do I balance both? Presenter Monica Nivamsa. I'm frustrated. I think the school needs to. All the things you would change. Facilitator, Susan Sikyakwaptiwa and Marissa Nabayastiwa. Make your vo voice heard on how you can be responsible for improving your school. Clans and relationships. Can someone explain to me how it really works? Presenter, Lee Kowanwesiwa. What does Hopi Prophecy say about the future? Presenter, Dano Tawahumiwa. What is Dine? Presenter Edwin Tano. Get a chance to learn about Navajo culture and ask questions about what is important to Navajo. What's so special about being a Hopi Tewa woman? Presenter Eileen Nabakaka and Effie Beatty. How to find strength in culture? Facilitator Kyle Knox. Express how we as a school slash community can better support you in your cultural learning. Bam, that's 26. And that's 26 presenters, that's 26 rooms, and there's, a, been, there's so many in here that I would love to be a part of and to attend that day. But this is for you. And so you can see how the topics are all based on information that you don't normally get to get in your normal, typical school day. But we want to make it available to you through a special experience called a Youth Summit. So please take advantage of this day and make sure that you just attend and be professional and represent yourself well, represent your name well, and get into all your sessions, learn as much as you can, ask questions, and it is, it's going to be a really fun day. P.S. We have a raffle and it's going to be going on all day and we have some really cool prizes. One of the coolest ones is a 32-inch Samsung Wi-Fi TV and that will be raffled off at the end of the day. So just to get you excited about uh, Thursday, April 27th, um, that, that's what we have coming up. So we'll look, I have your name, Hannah, grade 10th grade, 1 through 10. Once you finish this, give it to your teacher. Teachers, collect all of these and I will be by by before the end of the day to pick them all up and, um, and we'll create your schedule from this. So question, is there a dress code in a professional conference slash summit? There is a way to dress that is encouraged and <clears throat> as any young individual, young professional, I throw that term out there, professional, male, button up shirt, uh, nice, some nice slacks, some shoes, and uh, gives you a basic idea of, of you know, I, I see many other guys, just think when you want to go to a, uh, a graduation, 
That's professional dress, celebration dress. Girls, uh, females, that is dress, dresses, and slacks, and professional wear. <clears throat> Your parents can help you out on finding out what professional wear um, looks like. But uh, we encourage all students to dress professionally. It's one day we're, we're creating the setting for you where it's, you know, we're, we're going to do our best to get you snacks in the morning, have a raffle going throughout the day, and all this information that uh, is coming at you from our professional presenters. And so we're, we're, we're changing the environment of the school to be a professional youth summit conference. And we want you to participate and make it the best so that requires, you know, dressing out and playing the part because when you dress out you just act differently normal. What do I do if I don't want to fill out that form? If you do not want to fill out the form and you do not want to come that day, that's perfectly fine. It's just a normal day where you just get, you know, marked off for attendance and you're marked as an absent and you must find an excuse to why you didn't come. But you know, it's a really amazing opportunity where we're, we're not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to. We're just creating an amazing experience for our students. And so if you don't <clears throat> fill this out, we will fill it out for you. Um, just so we make sure that maybe you have a change of mind, you want to participate, and we have something ready for you that day. Comes your way if you don't think about what you say. Every single time, going in your mind, the power in the words won't go.